Today I'm going to tell you about editing voice audio in Adobe Audition 3, and I'm going to use audio files captured from the Zoom H1. Okay, so first in this tutorial, uh, we're going to capture some audio using the Zoom H1. We'll import the audio into Adobe Audition. We will apply some useful voice effects, and then we'll save the audio file in our favorite format. Here's the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. It's pretty small. It's got these awesome uh, directional stereo microphones. This device has a really good automatic gain control, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to set the gain to about 45. If you move it up above 60, it seems to be really sensitive. If you want to reduce the baseline noise level, then reduce the gain of your audio device. Okay, turn off the recorder. Uh, plug it into your computer using USB drag the file into Adobe Edition. You can see the waveform is really small. Go to the effects menu and select mastering rack. All right, using this method you can apply multiple effects simultaneously and preview them in real time. And I, I kind of made my own rack preset here so these are all the settings that we can modify. I have amplify, dynamics processing, multiband compressor, parametric equalizer, and mastering. I'll show you what each one does. So first take a look at Amplify. This audio coming straight off the H1 needs to be amplified. Next let's look at Dynamics Processing. There's multiple presets. VoiceOver is a good one. Uh, this one's kind of problematic because it brings out a lot of noise. Take a look at Compander. Select Graphic, Spline Curves. You get a nice S curve. This is going to even out your waveform. Uh, next, select multiband compressor. There's a preset that works really well called broadcast. Uh, select the broadcast preset. If you want to add more bass to your voiceover, uh, you can either use the parametric equalizer or the graphic equalizer. Everyone's voice is different, so you have to play with this to get the sound that you want. Uh, here I kind of set the parametric equalizer up. This is my custom preset. You can see I increased the lows. Okay, finally this one's optional, mastering. I like to I like to start off with the subtle clarity preset and you can move up the reverb a bit to make it louder. In the mastering rack there's some other things you can do. Um, you can soften the effect a little bit by dragging this, increase the output level, you can play with these settings to achieve the effect that you're looking for. Okay, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to tell you about editing voice audio in Adobe Audition 3. Alright, let's apply this. And you can see the waveform has broadened up quite a bit. Okay, welcome to another tutorial. The audio is already sounding a lot better, but there's still some noise in the background. I have a computer running in the background and a really sensitive microphone will pick that up. So we want to remove this background noise. Select a portion of your audio that's just noise. Here I can see in this part of the waveform um, there's just noise. Select the noise. In the effects tab select noise reduction process. Take a look at some of these settings. The snapshots in profile setting the default setting of 4000 is optimal for producing accurate data. Uh, you can increase this a bit. Next, take a look at the FFT size. So by default the size is 4096. And here you want to keep this between 4096 and 12000. Here I select 12000. Now click the capture profile button. When that's done, click the select entire file and the entire waveform is now selected. Let's go in and tweak these a bit and take a look at what each one of these settings does. Reduce the noise by about 40 dB. Um, you can adjust this between 6 and 40 to reduce uh, background effects. The precision factor affects distortions and amplitude, so values of 5 and up work best. Um, they say values beyond 10 cause no noticeable change in quality, uh, but they do increase the processing time I use. I don't know, 12 to 16 in this example. The smoothing amount reduces background artifacts. This can go anywhere from two to a few hundred. Um, you can increase this quite high. I can't really tell the difference. Uh, I'll use like 128 in this example. The transition width 
This is a fine tuning setting. I'm going to leave this at zero. The spectral decay rate, I'm going to leave it at the default 65%. If you drag this down low, uh, you're going to hear no effect. If you drag it up high, you're going to get the best noise reduction, but you might also experience some artifacts in the audio. Probably anywhere from 60 to 90 works best. Click OK. Today I'm going to tell you about editing voice audio in as a very last step, if uh, you really want to bring the audio out, you can do the hard limiting process. This is going to amplify the signal just a bit more. In the effects tab, you can click on hard limiting and uh, the default values are fine. So we've, we've done a lot to the audio already. So try out some of these things, see what works for you. And just to finish up, let's save this file. In this example, we will save the file as an MP3. Go to the File menu, select Save As or Save Copy As. Save Type MP3 Pro. Select the Options button. Constant Bitrate MP3. The best setting here is 320 kbps. And click OK and Save. And I think we're done here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, check out my YouTube channel and Vimeo channel. If you have any questions, let me know.